What's up, people in the Teenage Web Stuff, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about film because. Why not? Because I have a BAFTA card, I can go into cinemas between Monday and Thursday and, and see any film I want to see for free. So this means that I get to go and see films that I'm not too enthused about seeing and I get to see it and not have to worry about the fact that I'm paying to see said film. But today I'm going to talk about The Greatest Showman, which was a film I was a bit iffy about seeing because, to be honest, it kind of visually reminded me of Le Mis, and personally that's not a good thing. First off I'm going to talk about Zac Efron and Zendaya's characters who were actually interesting and I actually cared about them and they were really well performed. And this was a major positive for me in the film, it, their relationship was something that was strong throughout and the tones and themes surrounding them was, were really interesting. The practical effects were nifty and really enjoyable to watch. And the songs are catchy. And if you just ignore the fact that it's basically the same three songs repeated throughout, you're fine. Now on to what I feel are the biggest negatives of the film. One of them is the fact that I didn't care about P.T. Barnum. So that's Hugh Jackman's character, didn't care about him, didn't care about his family unit. He manages to go this entire film and remain the same character from the start to the finish and there is no point to that. It's pointless. You don't need to see that if he doesn't develop as a character. This is then probably followed by the CG in the film which, to be honest, is abysmal. It pulls you right out of the film and you're suddenly very aware of the fact that you're watching a film and I don't want that when I go to the cinema, I don't want that when I'm watching a movie at home. How can you be this bad at CGI? The final point that I'm going to bring up is the fact that the narrative in this film is dire. It seems to speed up and slow down and speed up and slow down and it's just not an engaging narrative throughout. There isn't anything that really grabs you and it's just kind of plods, weirdly. It plods along. I don't know how they managed to make it plod so much. And it it once again fails one of the most important tests of a film and that's the fact that you start fidgeting throughout this film. You kind of lose interest and that is mainly to do with this naff narrative. Ultimately, I'd say it was meh. It was a mediocre film. It's enjoyable, wouldn't rush back to watch it again. Give it a solid 6 out of 10. A lot of it for effort. I tried. It tried. I feel like a lot of people who watch this and know me are gonna shout at me for really not enjoying the film that much. You're probably wondering why the change in background again, however, and that will be explained very soon and it will be explained in a video all on its own. So for now, I'm going to keep you in suspense. If you enjoyed this video and if you have enjoyed my other videos, why not go and check out my Patreon? It will show me that you love me and you care and you can help support me and this channel. Or if you want something swell in return, why not go and check out the merch store that I have, which is full of wonderful items like a Nugs, not drugs, t-shirt or hoodie. But of course, I have never touched drugs in my life. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed and I shall see you again soon.